In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a glass ball. We've already started, we've removed the cube, and we've added a sphere, and then we've added a plane. Next, we're going to click to Cycles Render, and then you are going to take a look at your lamp, and you can make adjustments here. If you want to change the location of your lamp, you can do that. If you want to add another lamp, you can do that. Decide where you want the light to come from. Since this is glass, you do want to try to incorporate a good amount of light to really get some of those good reflections. Because I want this to have a lot of light instead of a point, I'm going to make this a sun so that it has more light that is going out across the image and our, our cube here. So we can make it bigger if we want to. So we can change that to uh, a point 0.3. If we want to make it larger, you can make it you can make it very large if you want to. So play around with these and decide what kind of size you want this light to have. Okay, now we're going to right click on our sphere so that we are sure it is selected. I'm going to come over here and go to our material. You can use the drop down and select the first material. If it's not there, you can select new. And then you're going to click on Use Nodes. As soon as you have the options open, and you should see Surface. If you click on Surface, you're going to see a bunch of different options. You're going to click on Glass BSDF. Go ahead and pause the video here to make sure that you have those selections. Okay, now you're going to check to make sure everything looks okay. We're in solid mode right now, but we want to go to rendered so that you can see what your image is going to look like. So you can see we have a glass ball, you can see that the light is casting light, and we have a cast shadow down here and another cast shadow here. Now you can come in and start playing around, uh, change the color of your ball. So what kind of colors do you want? Once you have the color that you like, we're going to move on to the next step. So go ahead and pause the video here and pick the color in render for what you want your glass ball to look like. Now looking at my ball, I think I might want to add another lamp. So I can go to add and you can go to lamp. You can add another sun, a spot, a hemi area, whatever you want to add. So I'm just going to add a sun just to brighten that up. You can see that really did brighten that up quite a bit. I can change the strength of that again. We talked about changing the strength, making it brighter. Play around with these settings until you get the brightness that you think you want for your for your object. Now that I have my ball how I want it, you can go in and play around with the settings, the transparency and things like that, and get it the way you want it. Now you're going to animate it, so we're going to definitely need to make this much shorter, so we don't need it at 250, so you can make it to 100. Now you can go in and start inserting your keyframes after you have moved your object. So we're going to go back to solid and if we want to add our keyframe we can start going in and inserting a keyframe. Move your green bar up, move your ball, add your keyframe, and keep inserting your keyframes. Try to add at least five so that you have your keyframes inserted. Once you have your keyframes in, go ahead and render 
and then you can save your animation as an animation file and submit.